Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to continue uh, the previous tutorial, which was the first video for uh, carbon capture uh, absorption process. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, I just started to make uh, an absorption tower uh, with some gas in inflow and uh, some absor absorbent uh, at the top of the tower. And eventually we got some clean gas and some rich amine. Um, if you want, I can go quickly through the uh, problem description again. Uh, uh, so if you remember the, the problem, I mean the gas was at 65 degrees at two bar pressure with the mass flow of 1,200 kilogram um, per hour with the composition of 75% uh, mole fraction nitrogen, 5% oxygen, and 10% uh, water and CO2 each. And then at the top of the tower, we have an absorbent uh, at temperature of 25 degrees and the pressure of 1.3 bar uh, with the mass flow of 4,000 kilogram per hour. And the composition in mass fraction was 25% uh, MDEMI and 75% water. And eventually we managed to get 80% uh, less CO2 in terms of mole fraction in the clean gas but uh, we got a rich amine which means um, the CO2 eventually ended up uh, in this feed so you can see here that like 4% mass fraction of uh, rich amine is CO2 which means that our amine is now reached with CO2 um, if you are familiar with the absorption process if you look at the bigger picture here uh, you can see that, uh, so we basically uh, simulated this part, right? We, 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 we modeled the absorber part and uh, we got some gas clean at the top and then rich amine at the bottom. So uh, straight away from uh, the rich amine, you have a pump to increase the pressure and the heat exchanger to increase the temperature before you go to this desorption tower. Desorption tower basically uh, extract the CO2 uh, from rich amine and actually bring this back to the heat exchanger and then eventually to the top of the tower again to use it as our absorbent again. So uh, this is a this is a closed process and uh, we actually started from this part, uh, but let's complete it. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going only to introduce the pump and the heat exchanger. And the rest of uh, the simulation will be done in another video, okay? So let's uh, get quickly to the model. And then I just need a pump. So I drop and drag, it, uh, drag and drop it here. And then if you click on the pump, uh, the inlet is of course the rich amine. And then I will call it to heat exchanger, to exchanger, something like that. And then I'll call this energy. So what I would like to do is, uh, I mean, the inflow to the pump uh, was two bar, right? Um, uh, the gas, uh, the, the rich amine is leaving the tower at two bar. So I want to increase the pressure by eight bar. So I just put this eight bar. And then you can see Uh, it's a bit strange, but it's it's okay. Uh, I'll fix this later. But then I need an heat heat exchanger, right? So if you type heat exchanger and try to find it here, so there is a heat exchanger here. You can just drag and drop it here. And then if you double click on that, you can see that there are tubes and shells. Um, so our inflow uh, to the heat exchanger is through the shell here, okay? So this is to heat exchanger and then the shell side outlet, I will call it uh, to desorber. This is going to be the inlet to desorber, okay? And if I just close it, you can see that the lines are already connected, but uh, 
I'm not really happy with uh, this. Uh, let me just put it here and perhaps bring this down here. Strange. <laughs> the lines are uh, a little bit crowded, but uh, all right, this is fine. All right, um, so I'll double click on heat exchanger again, and then I go to parameters. So I just changed the number of tube passes to 20, and uh, the shell in series to eight. And uh, you can already check some of the results, for example, to increase uh, the pressure to eight bar you have uh, the increase in temperature less than one one degrees of centigrade but you need a power of uh, more or less 1.2 kilowatt for your pump and the amount of energy that you are actually uh, giving to this to this flow uh, by increasing the pressure is 4313 kilojoule per hour okay and then uh, you can double click on this and uh, I put the temperature of, I don't know, what was the temperature in the inlet. The temperature to the inlet is, can double click on that and see. The temperature is actually around 50. And if I increase the temperature to 90 degrees and the pressure, I, I don't want to have so much pressure drop across uh, um, my heat exchanger so I just put it 9.8 let's say I have 0.2 bar pressure drop and then you can see that this one is also converged uh, now you have a high pressure high temperature uh, flow to the desorber and uh, that I'm going to include the desorber tower in the next tutorial I hope uh, you have enjoyed it so far I'll come back uh, uh, later with the continuation of this uh, tutorial and in the meantime I'm trying to fix these lines okay thank you see you later